Hi there. Today we're going to talk about DHCP snooping. One of the things that we have a lot of customers ask about is how they could go ahead and protect against rogue DHCP servers that get installed on their network by accident or either in a malicious fashion. So let's review real quick how the DHCP process works. There's really four things that happen. First of all, the client sends out a DHCP discovery in the form of a broadcast, and then your DHCP server would go ahead and respond to that with a DHCP offer. Your client then goes ahead and accepts that by issuing back a DHCP request for the address that was offered, and then the DHCP server would go ahead and send back an acknowledgement saying, yes, you can go ahead and use that, and then it's installed in its database. The problem occurs when you actually have multiple DHCP servers on a network. So the client would still go ahead and do its discovery, and all of the servers will go ahead and respond to that discovery probe and issue an offer. The problem is, is that the client will accept whichever one it receives first. And so in this example, if the green one got there first, that's the only one it re would respond to and send a DHCP request back. And so then that DHCP server would go ahead and acknowledge that, uh, install it in the database, and if that particular DHCP server was a rogue, that client now just got a bad address and may now be black holed. It may be going somewhere it's not supposed to, things like that. So what we want to do is try and mitigate that. So let's pretend that this is what we have for a network. We have two different switches on our data center switch, which we call switch DC. We have a DHCP server that's installed on gig E512. On our closet switch, we have multiple PCs that are sitting down there that's maybe in sitting in VLANs 5 and 6. And let's just say we have an uplink port back to switch DC that's on gig E11, and that happens to be a trunk. Now the switch DC uh, also happens to have multiple VLANs, which I've noted there, uh, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then VLAN 15. So there's really three different things we want to go ahead and do. It's really easy to install this. All we have to do is, at the global level, we want to go ahead and turn on IP DHCP snooping. And then at the interface level, we want to tell it which interface to trust. In other words, which ones would we expect to see the DHCP server's responses coming back from? Remember those two that we saw that the server sent? Those are the ones we want to have. And then the last thing we do is we tell it which VLANs those apply for. So if we take a look at the different scenario we just did, we'd have here's the following things we do on those switches. We first get into switch DC which is the one that we have our DHCP server on, and we get into config terminal mode, and we turn it on globally by saying IP DHCP snooping. Then we go in just to the interface that the server is on, which is gig E512, and say IP DHCP snooping trust. And the last thing to do is to say which VLANs we want to do the DHCP snooping on. And you can go ahead and, and conglomerate a bunch of those together. And so I did that in here where we do IP DHCP snooping VLAN 5-8 comma 15. Last thing to do is go down to the closet switch. We say closet 1. We get into config mode again. Once again, do the global IP DHCP snooping. Get into the interface, which on this case would be the uplink. That's where we expect to see the server responses coming back from. So only on that uplink. Everything else by default will be untrusted. And on that interface, we say DHCP super trust. And then since that switch happens to have two different VLANs, uh, VLANs 5 and 6, we also add in the IP DHCP snooping VLANs 5 and 6. I hope that answers your questions. Thanks.